Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial and uh, we are going to explore something super important today that will take your chatbot to the next level. So in this video, I'll show you how to use user input flow feature to collect and save your subscribers data for creating customized bots for specific subscribers. So before diving into the details, I'm just going to take a minute to talk about it. Like why do you actually need it and how does it come handy? So imagine you have a chatbot and you want it to chat with the subscribers in a personalized way and uh, remember their preferences and offer them exactly what they need, whether it's discounts, coupons, updates, or just some friendly chat. And that's where the user input flow actually comes into play. It's like giving your chatbot a super power to remember your subscribers' preferences and respond to them in a better way. So in this tutorial, I'll show you step-by-step -step process and show you exactly how to use the user input flow feature to collect your users' data. And by the end of the tutorial, you should be able to create your own chatbot that connects your audience on a whole new level. Okay, so let's get started. Well, to get started, log into Botseller's account and head over to the dashboard. Here, I'll click, click to the get started and navigate to Bot Manager. Then click Create. And it will redirect me to the Visual Drag and Drop Flow Builder. By double clicking the Start Bot Flow, I will add the trigger words like Hello, Hi, or Cert. And I must add a title. Since I assume this to be a pet shop, I'll name it as a pet bot. Don't forget to save your settings. I'll add a welcome text from the text button. I'll write hello pet lovers and welcome to mini pet shop and save it. Well, from this option, you can organize your chatbot's interface. Now I'll use an interactive. Well, I'll be using a lot of interactives in this tutorial uh, because I'm going to take input from the user and by interactive, I'll be able to give buttons so they'll get options and finally I'll get them to option to buy their products. That's why I'll be using a lot of interactives. So we have three options here, a header, a masses body, a footer. The header and footer option is not mandatory to be fulfilled. But anyway, I'll show you how to add it. I'll just proceed with writing the masses body first. All right, we have a fantastic selection of pet products. Choose any of the options below to get started. Since this is about a product, I'll just write product preview in the header option. It's not mandatory to add, but it can if you want. I'll save it, organize it. I'll provide with buttons. Well, here I'll, I'd like to say you can add three buttons to your interaction maximum, and you can delete them by clicking on the right button of your mouse. I'll add the button name. I'll give the option like see all products at first. Well, selecting send ma message enables it to send messages and continue the bot flow. I'll add another option by now and send message. I'll organize it. We can use images on the interactives as well. I'll add a image that looks like a welcome image too. Well, it's look it looks better now. However, I'll handle the see all products button. Suppose the user clicked the see all button and I'll again use interactive, double click it. So this response will be charged by your chatbot if you set interactive after see all products button. So I'll write here are some of our feature, feature pet products, choose your preference and say it. I'll again provide with two options. I'll just write it as a cat bait, better, and dog color. Send message. Let's handle the cat bait button. Suppose the user clicked cat bait. 
Now we will ask them what kind of caveat do they really want. So I'll write wonderful. What kind of caveat would you like to buy? And save me. I'll again provide with two buttons. I'll give two options, cat taste and window perch. Organize it. I'll handle the cat cake button. Again, interactive. I'll write great choice. What size would you like to order? I'll again provide with two options. I'll write medium and large. I'll give two options. Organize it. I'll handle the medium button. Suppose the subscriber clicked on medium. So what choice also I want to give? Well, in this point, I'll use user input flow button. Now, from this point, now since the user has given all their order preferences, like what they want, what size they want. Now at this point, I will start taking their information by enabling user input flow button. From now on, whatever question I will ask, all the informations will be saved to subscribers data. So let's see how does it works. In user input flow, you have to give a campaign name like it reflects the purpose here since I am collecting order information i'll just write in write it in the campaign name my campaign name is order collection my first question is well you have two options to add free keyboard input and multiple choice i'll just go with free keyboard in input all right nice let's get the process started to personalize your order, may we have, may we know your pet's name? Well, in this point, I will show you how to use the custom field as well. You better know or the people doing businesses know that under their business niche, what kind of custom field they might need. So here, this is a paint shop and the custom field paint name can be an important custom field. So under this business and this niche, particular niche, the custom field paint name is an important one. So I'll just add a new custom field named paint name. So you can select the t text type, reply type. I'll just add a new custom field paint name and save it and I'll select it in the custom field so it will be saved in the custom field when the user provides their page's name again I'll ask another question and one of the interesting facts of custom fields are you can use uh, you, the custom field information to talk to your subscribers in the later questions just like from here the information the buyer will provide you can use the name i'll show you how here i'll write thank you say hello to the furry friend here i'll use the custom field such as the pet's name so the bot will reply in a personalized manner and take the pet's name here and you can use the hashtag wherever you want to in the whole text now i'll collect the user's contact number and I'll write what's the best contact number to reach you regarding your order. I'll set the reply type to number since the phone numbers are always given by number. I'll add another question and take another information. Now I'll take the buyer's address to ensure a smooth delivery Please provide your delivery address and I'll choose a system field that is location. So the information will be saved in the system field in the location section. Since I have the buyer's number, his paid name and his location, I'll send a thank you message. 
All right, thanks for providing your product choices and order information. Let's make it a little bit of fun. All right, we will process your order and make sure your pay is wagging their tail in no time and save the changes. Organize it and now we will check the other buttons that we left unattended. We must reply with something otherwise the bot will not stay because whenever you're providing with the choice to the customers, you must reply with something. So I'll just give a random reply because this is not our focus. We are focusing on taking information and using the user interval button. So I'll just fill this field with a random text so the bot saves because we cannot leave the buttons unattended without adding any text at all so i'm just adding random messages to the other options that i used while creating this bot save it we'll check if we have any other buttons left unattended save it there is one more button and we will add another random reply and right thank you one of our human agents will get in touch with you regarding your order or purchase soon stay in all done well we can use another photo here in this interactive button it's never a bad idea to add photos in your interactives or in your pod. It looks more attractive when you add, when you add more photos. Well, my bot is done. I'll just must save it. As you can see, the notification it has saved successfully. I'll go back to the bot manager and I'll go to my own WhatsApp account. From where I'll just take to the board that i just created and see if it's working perfectly i'll text with start yes i got the response i'll click see all products cat bait i'll give cat case medium so it started to take my information i'll just write it write my cat's name surprisingly i have a cat too well, now I'll just give my number that any random number. Now I'll just give a random address. Well, I'd like to say this is from the user end, user's end who is talking with the chatbot. This is my own personal account and I'm texting the chatbot that I just made. To check if it's really working and if it if it's not working so i can work on that but i can see that it's working perfectly now i'll go to the bot manager and i'll check if the information is saved before that i'll show you the live chat you can also handle your chat from the live chat section you can as you can see all the conversations are here all the information are saved i'll go back and I'll go to the subscriber manager. The ID you are seeing in the top is mine. And as you can see, the address, the number has been saved. We'll see the input flows and the custom fields. It's the information is saved. As you can see, all the information is saved. So you can use this information to create any customized bot in future and send messages to your subscribers from a personalized way. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next video for how to use this information and create customized bots to send specific messages to your specific subscribers and uh, how to use it actually. And thank you very much.